So, welcome to Great Bad Texas. <laughs> it is a cool spring morning on March something. Six, eight, eight, 2019 or 2020. <laughs> wow, it's sometime in the 21st century. <laughs> So, uh, Grapevine is pretty cool. You can see behind us uh, some of the buildings that are pretty amazing. Uh, we had a stop at the uh, the Main Street Bread Bread Baking Company. Company. <laughs> we uh, we had breakfast there yesterday. We had it again today. Uh, omelets are pretty good. Omelets are pretty good. Not a huge selection for breakfast, but. There is a That just huge, means they can focus on the things on that the, they have the, and, yeah. and perfect them. But I mean, when you count breakfast foods, you know, what is there really? Uh, huge sure selection of pastries. We probably could have had some wine. Could have had, I'm sure, some people. Wine with our pastries. Yeah. Good place to eat. Uh, nice and, again, very nice and cozy environment. There is a higher end dining area. Uh, we did not check it out. We got a picture of it. Looks Fabian, 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 Link in the description. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Grapevine's pretty cool. Fabian. The uh, Gaylord Texan is immense. Uh, it's like a Disneyland in a building, almost, as far as the aesthetics. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so, sorry, I hit the stop button. Um, is it really a button on a touch screen anymore? Do we still call them buttons? We do call them buttons. It's not a button. They call them buttons. It's a hot spot. I don't know. Something you touch that... It's buttons. It's called buttons. It's not a button, though. No. Button's a physical it's a, object. It's a okay. Button. You tell us. Is it a button? It's called a button. You tell us in, in the comments. Is it a button? I don't know. Anyway. The Gaylord Texan. <laughs> The Gaylord Texan is immense. It's like a Disneyland inside a building. It's uh, with no rights. Uh, yeah, I've got some video of that. I got some pictures of, of that that we'll, uh, we'll post. Yeah. Pretty cool. Um, it's a training village. It's really cute. Yeah. yeah. A lot of work went into that. Why it wouldn't be? Um, it's cold and I've had sugar for breakfast. <laughs> This is what happens. <laughs> so the bed and breakfast experience, the Airbnb. Oh, what it had we so say? much potential. It was really cute. Yeah. The courtyard was really cute. I wish we would have gotten some pictures or video of the courtyard. The courtyard yeah. was cute. It was, it was very eclectic. There was a, like an old um, clawfoot bathtub that they used for a little garden area. It had a really cute little um, fountain that I don't know if it worked or not. It wasn't working this weekend. But the things that didn't work this weekend did not stop there. Yeah, uh, so the initial uh, video that we were doing was pretty positive when we walked in. We were impressed. It looked cozy, clean. Uh, and then the first thing I think we discovered was the microwave was uh, pretty disgusting. It had food stuck all in it. There was food on the top, on the sides, yeah. on the bottom, on the door. Could have been an oversight uh, initially. We. I, I wasn't as, as put off with it. I, I don't do dirty microwaves. Yeah. Public dirty microwaves are just like the worst. Because all I can picture is when I'm eating it, my food stuff falling in it. So. Well, then no. the bathroom mirror was uh, filmed over with something. The sh the window. There was a window inside the shower. In the shower. And it had a shower oh, yeah. curtain on it. And it had like all along the on the bottom of the side, like the orange mold that you get. Yeah. Uh, so there's that. The cabinets were dusty. Dusty. Thick, the, film of dust. Yeah, I guess you could call them dusty. Inside the uh, the water heater was borderline fire hazard with all of the lint and dust and. Uh, it wasn't borderline. It was a fire hazard. It, it was, was a bad. fire hazard. It was like a well, dog lived in there. It wouldn't have been as bad if the um, smoke detector worked at all. <laughs> Which leads us to the first night. The first night, yes. <laughs> so we had a comfy bed. The bed was comfy. Bed we, was good. We both thoroughly we inspected checked. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, we took our turn. I was like, did you check the bed? He like, yeah, I've already thoroughly checked it. So I thoroughly checked it again. So yeah, it was it was clean. I'm pretty sure. I mean, we even had like the fold lines. I'm pretty sure the, the sheets have been changed. 
so the bed was really comfy. So we finally get in bed because we'll go back to this. I couldn't get my coffee or tea or anything. But anyways, um, so we get in bed. I'm like, I give up, lay down, go to sleep, and then I hear beep, <laughs> beep. <laughs> Battery low. Battery low. <laughs> Yeah, it was bad. I'm like, what was that? Oh, no, you asked. What was that? And I'm like, I think it's the fire detector or fire alarm. So we went back to sleep. <laughs> Beep! That was smart on our Beep! part. But we were tired. It was a long night. And then he, and then we both like, up again. I'm like, what was that? Because like I didn't know, right? Because I already told him once. And he's like, I think it's the fire. Detector. We were delirious <laughs> from our drive. It was late. And then it did it again. I'm like, I got up. I'm like, I'm done. And then I, I started writing an email to the. Um, host <laughs> and I was tired and cranky so I was gonna wait to send it until I put it through my filter here accidentally sent it I'm like okay I'm gonna finish it so I just and I told him I didn't mean to send this because I'm cranky and tired but I might as well finish it since I accidentally did and you know I told him started with the, the microwave was yucky because I was gonna heat up some water in the microwave to make some tea to help me sleep and you know, because relax. the stove didn't work well okay but look We'll go back to the stove. So I was try started with the microwave, and it was nasty. I started with the st then I went to the stove, and it didn't work. Come to find out, that was user error. I, I think I'm pretty Possibly. sure. I'm pretty sure it was user error, error. Because I think I just kind of turned it all the way over, and it was like you have to turn it one click to light it. And anyways, pretty sure that was user error. So we'll, it's old style. So old we'll, style. And you know, we'll we'll forgive that because I'm pretty sure that was me and then went to the coffee pot and I'm like nope not even using this because it was filthy inside the um, the pot itself was filthy so Derek cleaned it out for me and we made some water and inside the pot stuff was floating <laughs> all in it from, it's from I guess the tubing and stuff I'm assuming it needs to be descaled but Could and I was trying to be nice when I emailed him and said that I'm assuming all it needs is to be descaled but that's really not it because yeah. the inside of the coffee pot and everything was just nasty like this thick grime from <laughs> multiple multiple pots of coffee being made and not being cleaned out yeah um let's see what else the wi-fi that was wi -Fi didn't available work. wasn't there wasn't there yeah it didn't just not work it wasn't available so those were all mentioned in in her email um mm -hmm. they did come in and clean uh some of the stuff uh, they clean. They changed the wrong shower curtain. Yeah, but it was a very she nice said, new. I, I see what you're curtain. saying. It just needed to be, you know, it needed a new shower curtain. So we changed that. And I get in there. I'm like, they changed the wrong shower curtain. Like, how can they not even see the big orange mold growing yeah. all over the back shower curtain? Anyway. Yeah. Uh, so the they cleaned out the fire hazard. They cleaned out the fire hazard and the microwave. They did clean, but they also said that it wasn't that dirty. It was only two spots of spaghetti sauce that they must have missed. Yeah. And that she had to bend way down to see it. I'm like, well, what about the rest? And yeah. the, there was a lot more than just two spots. Yeah. So they did they did clean it. Um, or they had the maid clean it. They had a maid, maid service clean it, they said. Well, they said the maid must have missed that. Yeah. They said that a few times. I'm like, mm, if, you, if you're paying somebody, you need to pay somebody else. Yeah. As far as the hosts go, they were... Very well. We met John. John, a he was times. very polite, very, very polite. personable. Um, I mean, I don't have anything to say, bad to say about the hosts. No. Um, other than I mean, other than the avoidance, she was just like, yeah, that's you know, his wife, well, I suppose, or something. Uh, the hostess. It, it was. Hostess. I, I we never met her in person, so I can't say anything about her personality. But I can say that she was very passive aggressive in her email and the fact that she was saying, you know. Thank you for pointing that out. It wasn't actually very dirty, but we went ahead and changed it because I can see how you thought it needed to be changed. When I mentioned the water heater, well, thank you. I realized that that looked like a cabinet, so you would have opened it, basically saying, why were you opening it? Well, thank God I did. Maybe, you know, because <laughs> didn't your, die. Your fire detector doesn't work, obviously, so, yeah. you know. Which, but anyways. They did change the battery in the... Uh, <laughs> In the fire, uh, or the smoke detector. Yes, um, it no longer screamed. It no longer batteries. chirped intermittently and said low battery. It did, however, in the middle of the night, just become a siren that would not stop. I mean, it was like loud. It was just like, <laughs> one of those things where you start looking, what is that noise? You know, yeah. is that? And I'm, I'm, he's in the other room, and I'm like, oh. And he goes, what was it? And I said, the fire detector. <laughs> I was just like, I yes. hated this fire alarm yes. at this point smoke detector or whatever so long story short because there are there is there's more that we could just 
mentioned and gripe about it. Yeah, but just... what's the point? Long story short is a lot of potential. A lot of potential. I hope that they will address the apparent issues and uh, and someone else. And I will say that the the reviews we read were all great, except there was one similar to ours. Um, but other than that, the reviews were all amazing, so we had high expectations. It was a letdown, but it was also a learning experience. There weren't any amenities like we're used like we're used to. Like um, you know, we usually will have some snacks and like yeah. one coffee pot you can use, but um, yeah. there, it was like leftover. those weren't promised things, though. No, they weren't. So, uh, yeah, the promised things promise. were. A clean place, Wi-Fi. Uh, you know, we got the comfortable bed part down. Uh, that was it was comfortable. I will say the couch was comfortable too. The little yeah. little couch was couch really comfortable. Was great. I sat down. And it wasn't like oh, I got to reposition. It was like oh, this is nice. Yeah. So I did like the couch and I did like the bed. Yeah. And John was nice. The the. I met the goat. I did not meet the pig. I didn't. Get There's to meet a the potbelly pig. I did meet the goat. Uh, he he was very insistent that. I had something for him that had, sorry, goat, I didn't, um, so, yeah, so that's it. That's it. And we, Grapevine's awesome. Grapevine's amazing. I would uh, love to come and visit again sometime when we just have some just yeah. spare time. Dallas is not amazing. No. I don't, I don't, I don't More on Dallas in another video. <laughs> All right. Right, Texas, they can hear us. That's it. Have a great day.